Ever wondered how a time machine would look like? Would it be a shiny futuristic capsule or an old rickety bucket? Well, let's head over to Mitchell's apartment. Mitchell, a sprightly Mormon missionary, is all set for a historical tour with his buddy, Randy. Now Randy, he's a bit of a history buff, always ready with a quirky tale or two. Randy, with a mischievous twinkle in his eye, suggests, So Mitchell, how about we spice up your mission trip with a taste of the past? Let's head to Fort Abraham Lincoln. Mitchell, ever the enthusiastic soul, is quick to agree. Sounds interesting, let's do it. You see, the humor here isn't just about the destination. It's about the journey, the conversation, and the camaraderie. It's about Mitchell's naive enthusiasm bouncing off Randy's seasoned knowledge. So buckle up, Mitchell, and brace yourself for a trip down the memory lane. Welcome to Fort Abraham Lincoln, or should we say, welcome back in time. Ah, Fort Abraham Lincoln, home to General Custer himself. Mitchell and Randy, our time-traveling duo, are here to explore the rich tapestry of history, and boy are they in for a treat. Mitchell, brimming with excitement, is like a kid in a candy store. Randy, on the other hand, is as cool as a cucumber, amused by Mitchell's enthusiasm. The tour guide, a walking encyclopedia, gives them a warm welcome, adding fuel to Mitchell's excitement. They begin their journey back in time, meandering through the fort's corridors, soaking in the stories of the past. What's more, our dear Mitchell is about to get a history lesson he'll never forget. Randy, ever the Joker, is ready to add a hilarious twist to their adventure. And trust me, it's going to be a bucket load of fun. Time to discover the secrets of this ancient fortress. And here's the grandest feature of the fort, the 19th century toilet. Our valiant explorer Mitchell steps into the bathroom, his eyebrows arched in curiosity. His eyes land on an old rusty bucket sitting in the corner. A cooler, perhaps? A place to keep the general's beverages chilled? He turns to Randy, questioning. Uh, Randy, is this some kind of ancient cooler? A chuckle escapes Randy, his grin wide as he shakes his head. No, Mitchell, that's the 19th century toilet before the luxury of indoor plumbing. Mitchell's eyes widen, his gaze shifting between Randy and the bucket. His brain tries to process the information, but the gears seem to be stuck. He leans over the bucket, peering into it with a mix of horror and fascination. You mean, this is where they went poop? Randy nods, his laughter echoing through the room. Yep, and let me tell you, Mitchell, growing up, I didn't have an inside toilet, running water, or hot water either. Mitchell spins around, his eyes wide as saucers. Are you serious? Randy's smile grows even wider, his head bobbing in affirmation. Absolutely, it was the good old days. Mitchell stands there, his mind reeling from the revelation. He takes a moment, his eyes flickering between Randy and the bucket. Finally, he breaks the silence. Well, that was an eye-opener. I appreciate my modern bathroom more than ever. Randy chuckles again, patting Mitchell's back. See, Mitchell? Your mission has perks. They share a laugh, the echoes bouncing off the ancient walls. As they step out into the daylight, they carry with them a piece of history and a newfound appreciation for indoor plumbing. Well, now you know, Mitchell, the past is not always as glamorous as it seems. Their laughter fades into the background as they continue their tour, the memory of the time-traveling toilet forever etched in their minds. So, Mitchell, how does it feel to have traveled back in time? Randy asks, his voice laced with amusement. I mean, you got to experience firsthand the joys of 19th century plumbing, or lack thereof. Mitchell chuckles, his voice echoing Randy's amusement. I've got to admit, Randy, it's been quite an eye-opener. I mean, who knew a simple bucket could stir such profound revelations? Randy joins in the laughter, his voice warm and hearty. Ah, the simple pleasures of life, right? You know, back in my day, we didn't have half the luxuries you kids have now, and yet, we got by just fine. It's funny how times change. Mitchell nods, his voice thoughtful. It sure is, Randy. It sure is. I think I'll appreciate my modern bathroom a little more now. And who knows, maybe I'll even start a bucket challenge on social media. With a shared laugh, Randy ends the conversation. Well, that's one for the books, Mitchell. Your mission sure has perks.